YouTube. I just would like to give you an update on dinner tonight. Give you kind of a uh, little bit of cooking advice. Right now I've got scrambled eggs with uh, uh, mushrooms. And I just kind of quartered the mushrooms. Got them, you know, kind of chunky, kind of hearty. And uh, you'll notice I'm using a whisk. That's really the best way to make your scrambled eggs. Um, but what I'd like to make a video on really is uh, making some homemade fresh salsa. You know, a lot of people use the canned salsa and a lot of people will can their own salsa. But not many people use the fresh salsa unless you're, you know, a little more... Uh, um, traditional but so I thought I'd give a little bit of uh, what I kind of do sometimes so right now I've got moved over here I uh, have been ripening some Romas on my um, counter here and I've got some cut up I kind of cut out the cutting of them because it's just boring as dirt but right now I have uh, the actual aromas cut up and uh, I'm going to add some spices to uh, go in my scrambled eggs which I've got cooking right now. So right now pull out some herbs kind of spice it up a little bit. Now these uh, aromas are from my garden. I know the uh, video is probably going to be a little bit hard to follow just because I don't have a camera stand. I'm working on that. But right now I'm adding just a little bit of herbs. I want to pull out some of the more yellow stuff. Now what I'm putting in here right now is actually carrot greens. Which give a nice little uh, flavor to it very uh, carroty and kind of a mix between carrots and parsley so right now I want to kind of cut those up a little bit cut those into the tomatoes and yeah those are a lot of stems and that'll be alright normally I would cut it up a little bit finer but when you freeze the carrot grains they kind of break up really nicely you want to pull out some of the little bit larger stems like that right there because the stems are they're all right for soup but in a salsa they can be a little tough um you know it's it's no big deal if there's some stems in there in fact you know the stems will add a little bit of flavor um, but it's kind of uh, not quite like a cilantro type flavor but you know pretty much like parsley of course you want to keep stirring your scrambled eggs which this right here, it's, uh, I prefer to use butter with my scrambled eggs. I feel it makes them a little more fluffy. And uh, it's just kind of a salt pepper blend. Now, I've got my spice rack here. I've got it pretty well organized. I did that just the other day. So, I'm going to add a few different little herbs into uh, this salsa here of course I want to add a little bit of onion powder because uh, I'm kind of doing this as a very quick thing and uh, I don't really want to you know sit and cut up onions I uh, don't particularly care for the uh, texture of onions myself um, you know if you want to sit there and cut up regular onions that's uh, 
completely up to you. But personally, I feel the onion powder is good enough. Sorry about this. This is a new container of onion powder, so I'm kind of fighting with it one handed. Now, kind of add that in. Add in a little bit of garlic salt. That'll give it some good flavor as well. Now kind of cut that in. Now you're going to want a little bit of longevity to this so you don't want it to you know go bad right away so what I've found is uh, a little bit of citrus always does some salsa some good so right now doesn't matter if it's lime juice or lemon juice personally I tend to prefer lime juice but right now I'm fresh out so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use some lemon juice this stuff, uh, it's perfectly fine to get the bottled stuff. It keeps forever. Um, just use a little bit of that in there. Put that back where it came from. And uh, right here, I have a little bit of the uh, Tabasco peppers pepper sauce um, comes in Texas peat just like this now what this actually is is uh, this is a combination of Tabasco peppers soaked in vinegar now basically all that does is it imbues the vinegar with a real nice Tabasco spicy flavor and that just really adds to the salsa. You can see the scrambled eggs are cooking real nicely. Again, I apologize for not having a camera stand. I'm hoping maybe I might get one for Christmas, but not holding my breath for that. If I don't, I'll just buy one myself, but you can see all the mushrooms and scrambled eggs coming together nicely. And this here, you know, just nice little salsa, nothing too fancy. Um, a lot of cultures, I had a uh, girl one time make a salsa, um, had shrimp in it. Very delicious. But, you know, you can spice it up whichever way you want. And you can add, uh, you know, some jalapeno peppers. I actually have uh, in here, you know, back in the back of my refrigerator. I have some different items I have pickled myself. So, uh, I figured I'd add in a little bit. Let's see, right. Here. Now this right here is if you don't really like buying the store-bought equivalent, this right here is a home pickled item. Those are Tabasco peppers that are pickled in a vinegar substance. I had a really good year with my Tabasco pepper. I've actually moved it inside. You can see uh, it's grown quite large and uh, hoping to kind of self um, self pollinate this winter. So I've uh, got these here. I'm going to just kind of dig out this one right here. It's a nice red one. And dig out a green one as well. 
kind of put those back in there because, uh, you know, you want to do everything in moderation. Too much uh, spice will cause some issues. So uh, right here, uh, I'm just kind of cutting these up, which, uh, oh, I guess the dog's going to get that Tabasco pepper. He can have fun with that a little bit later. Again, it's hard to do this a little one-handed, but got these pickled. Throw those in there. Oh, I guess he didn't like that. Kind of uh, <laughs> licked that and uh, said, "Yeah, I'm good. I'm good." So I'm gonna throw that away. So now I've got the Tabasco peppers in there. That'll give some nice little flavor. Cut the heat off real quick on the eggs. And so, you know, you can add a little bit different types of spices as well, you know. On here, I've got my paprika. Always kind of adds a nice little different different touch to it um you know for this i'm trying to go more of a um spicy southwest type direction with it i'm not really trying to uh um go all out on it um if you were to try to go more of an asian route you could use some thai chili peppers or uh if you want to go a little more European, you could add, uh, you know, something a little more horseradish, some mustard. But right here, I'm just trying to keep it a little traditional. You can see that Tabasco piece is a little bit large. Again, you've got a little bit of stems in there. And it all, is always important to keep your knives nice and sharp. Um, this is one of my nicer knives that I've got here. Um, you know, some of your Walmart knives are not bad knives. You just are going to have to sharpen them a little bit sooner. This one is a, uh, let's see if I can get that on there. But it's a Wolfgang Puck. Which is a little more expensive brand, but, um, you know, know what you're doing. Get it at, you know, some discount places like uh, um, TJ Maxx and things like that. And you can really get some good deals on them. Um, that's what I did. I don't pay try not to pay full price for anything because you know I just can't afford to but let's see this here that all stem there get that out of there but yeah I'm gonna try to get my girlfriend up and uh, see if She's looking for some dinner, and uh, I think the salsa will pair pretty nicely with these uh, scrambled eggs that look like they're doing pretty good. I'm trying to hold that handle still with one hand, but I do really enjoy these ceramic plate, uh, these ceramic pans, because if you look. Uh, this might work better. But you can really just scrape off anything that's stuck on there. So it really is a nice nonstick surface. And it's not toxic like the Teflon. Which, by the way, I will show you real quick what Teflon pans will do over time. If you look at that. Teflon will start to crack and peel and it'll get all black and kind of brown underneath and uh, 